Hello, um, my name is Sam from Samuelson Films, and today I'm splitting it up a little bit with the videos. Um, so today, basically, my friend Felix and I are gonna head down to our local woods or forest, whatever you want to call it, and I think we're just gonna, you know, get some cinematic shots. Um, it's currently day four into the uh, second British uh, lockdown, and obviously the rule is you can meet with one other person outside. So it's a way to get out and a way to film a vlog or we can get some cinematic shots and just practice in general is to go out and do this. Quickly run you through some of the equipment we're using. Uh, so I've got my camera there, tripod, I'm not going to go into specifics. Probably going to take this, which is a gimbal, steady cam. Obviously I need to actually balance it with the weights. Uh, was going to bring this, which is a massive camera. Um, camera slider, but I think that's a bit overkill. That's about all the equipment, so without further ado, let's get to the car. Alright, so now in the forest, a uh, little update. So Felix can't come, so I'm actually here on my own now. Two, it's changed a lot since I last came, which was a while ago, but it's been completely modernised, a lot of it's been destroyed, and there's a massive car park, so it's a lot different. But I'm gonna make do, gonna walk around, see what sort of shots I can get. I'm holding my gimbal right now. See if some of the old areas that I used to visit are still here, and you know, try and get some shots. Well, I think I found the old path I used to go on when I was younger. I think, I'm not 100% sure. Um, obviously, this hasn't gone uh, to plan as I hoped it was, but a massive part of filmmaking is overcoming problems. So, you know, something to learn. Nothing ever goes right, or very little goes right, and you have to problem solve and overcome stuff. And that's one of the main rules of filmmaking, in my opinion. So, you've got to make do. So, if it's uh, not obvious enough already, um, this was my first ever time capturing B-roll footage and also my first ever time using a Steadicam or a gimbal, whatever you want to use, uh, whatever term you want to use. Um, wasn't brilliant, obviously I'm still trying stuff out. So I think I'm going to switch to do some tripod stuff, so some very stationary shots. I, I always love a, a focus pull, so I might focus on doing some stuff like that. Um, just sort of taking it in, haven't really been somewhere like this in a very long time, so it's always nice to come out here and, you know, take in the views. And while it sucks if Felix can't come, you know, sometimes it's nice to be on your own and have a bit of, like, you know, moments with yourself. So, yeah, let's get to it. As a filmmaker in the past, a lot of the time I've made action films a lot um, and that's really what I've grown up making and you know, never really sort of come to certain piece with something uh, meaningful and so coming out here and sort of trying something new I think is so important for me and I think uh, for any new filmmakers or even filmmakers who are experienced because you're never going to improve your craft, you're never going to learn new stuff if you don't expand your knowledge of the world of filmmaking and 
expand the arsenal that you have uh, of your filmmaking tools and abilities and you don't need loads of equipment. I didn't need the gimbal. I don't necessarily need an amazing camera. I don't necessarily need a fantastic tripod. All you need is a camera of some sort and a filmmaking brain. What I've learned today is that many things go wrong and sometimes mistakes can lead to the end of end of a project, end of something good, but I think mistakes can lead to victories and whether that's a victory in terms of materialistic victory, victory in terms of personal victory, or anything, just don't count yourself out too early. If something goes wrong, use that to your advantage. See what see what see what doors and opportunities these new these mistakes can open up and See it as a way to develop, a way to adapt, and a way to improve. I think I think that's the main message that I've learned today. So, I think that probably wraps up today's video. Uh, it's been a different one, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And most of all, I hope you guys take something away from this video that you can turn the biggest failures into the biggest wins and inspiration can come from anywhere. Um, just look at the world around you and think, think, things, can, things can be okay. Um, please do leave a like if you enjoyed. Please do subscribe. Um, I'm trying to get more subscribers on this channel. Uh, so I'm going to be more active on this than any of my other ones. But yeah. Um, like I said, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.